Brooks, he drills the middle, he's got Denny, good fire of his pass, Dan Marino to become the National Football League all-time leading touchdown passer. Brett Favre steps up in the pocket, fires a bomb, touchdown! There's the reason the Jets got Brett Favre. He fires to the end zone, touchdown! Win three MVPs, win a Super Bowl, and numerous Pro Bowls is a dream come true. Well, this is very exciting. A first here on First Take, the one and only, the Hall of Famer, Brett Favre. Brett, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, it was nice to see those highlights. Yes. I kind of forgot some of it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We are so happy to have you this morning. And we are not interviewing you today. You're joining us on behalf of Green Eagle. You are part of the debate, sir. And you are up first, Brett. So you get the first crack at this one. Is Mahomes already in the conversation of best quarterback ever? No. No. Um, he's great. But he's got to, I think he needs to play uh, many more years, um, which if he does, there's no question that uh, he's in the conversation. Too young. Max? Now, I would say that that's right if you say greatest ever. I mean, we're parsing words here, but, but he has not, he's not going to be most accomplished. In terms of who I've put my eyes on and said, that guy is, his, the peaks he hit are already, oh, my God. Brett, he's like you, and take, take away the turnovers. Like, before his first, yeah. before the, and you're yeah, one of the greatest are. who ever lived. Before his first... Uh, game when you just saw him like preseason it was like I, I came out on first take and said I'm gonna tell my grandkids I saw this guy throw it sounds ridiculous but you're one of the names I mentioned in terms of the electricity of his arm and since then he threw 50 touchdowns to 12 interceptions won the MVP followed that up by improving that ratio on the Super Bowl MVP he might do both this year Brett Favre, I must confess, I'm actually uh, 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 shocked. I mean, you, your first appearance on the show here and the first words out of your mouth, you completely agree with me. I'm very stunned, but pleasantly <laughs> so, I might add, because I've been trying to tell Max this. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the dude is phenomenal thus far, but longevity matters. Consistency matters. Doing it over a long period of time matters. And to just summarily just dismiss the Aaron Rodgers of the world and others and just elevate this guy after a couple of years I felt was absolutely positively ridiculous. We've argued about it on many occasions and then the one and only Brett Favre in his very first appearance on First Take comes on the show and agrees with <laughs> me. I'm very touched, No, that's sir. not actually what I'm just very happened, touched. but nice try. I'm very nice touched, Brett Favre. gets the final word here, Max. Brett gets the final word on Mahomes and then we'll move on. No, we all agree. Uh, the guy's great. What he's accomplished so far is outstanding. I, I, I agree with Max. He, I mean, one turnover this year is incredible. Uh, to be a gunslinger, uh, you would think that you would turn the ball over. I mean, a, at least a tip, a ball or something. But uh, mm -hmm. very impressive. It's just a little too early. I hear you. All right, next topic we got here for you, Brett. How confident are you that Aaron Rodgers wins another Super Bowl in Green Bay? Well, let me put it to you this way. I'm, I'm very confident that he will do his part. Um, whether or not the, the remaining team and coaching staff uh, rises up to his level of play um, and the ball bounces their way, but, I, but there's no question that he will do all that he is capable of, which is quite a bit, uh, in order to get there. Yeah, I don't have confidence that he'll win another one. I agree um, with you, Brett. He's, he's great. He is an amazing talent. He'll do his part. But considering they never draft in the first round for offensive weapons, they believe they can find guys and coach him up. And they've done a pretty good job of that. Well, damn, that defense must be amazing, right, in that case? No, it's not. And then they draft his successor when they just won 13 games and beat Seattle and wound up in the NFC Championship game. Instead of giving him the best chance to win right now, I don't have confidence he wins another in Green Bay. 
I mean, I just don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just very, very touched. I mean, it, 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 Brett Favre is 2-0 and right now. I mean, both, <laughs> both points were right <laughs> on point because here's the deal. Aaron Rodgers, as phenomenal as he is, I mean, c- to considering, and I'm not trying to not, I mean, Devontae Adams can play, Marquez Stanley, you know, Valdez Scantlin can play, and I got all of that. But Brett Favre, you can appreciate what I'm about to say to you, even though you didn't win the Super Bowl with him because he retired a couple of years earlier. Earlier, obviously, the, you know, for health issues, Sterling Sharp, one of the great, great receivers to have ever played football that is not mentioned nearly as much as he should. You know, your first year, your first few years in Green Bay, you career. had somebody like that. Uh-uh. Aaron Rodgers ain't had anybody like that. And instead of getting somebody in the draft, maybe a DK Metcalf or somebody, what do the Green Bay Packers go out and do? They draft his successor. Go figure. Brett Favre, you're 2-0 right now. A perfect, a perfect appearance on first take <laughs> thus far, my brother, I must say. Wait, before we move on, Brett, I have to say this to you, because you said he will do his part, and Stephen A. just brought that up. Obviously, they didn't draft a wide receiver for him. They took Jordan Love. You know what that's like when another quarterback is drafted, like an Aaron Rodgers situation. Do you think the team will do their part and get the right parts around him, or do you think they've done enough? Well, the jury's still out. Did they do enough? Uh, as we say, uh, or, or as we're talking about this presently, it seems as though they've done their part. But time will tell. Uh, we are, we're all in agreement that uh, we felt like they should have gone with an offensive weapon for immediate help right now. Mm-hmm. So. We'll see who's right at the end of the season. Okay, fair enough. We'll Can move you imagine, on here. Can oh, Molly? Go ahead, Max. Yeah. If, if, if Aaron Rodgers, like, Brett, you took your shot with Minnesota and actually did very well and, and, and would have been something to win a Super Bowl with them in the division, could you imagine if Aaron Rodgers took a shot with, oh, I don't know, a place, a, a team like Chicago who has never had a quarterback like that but has the defense? Could you imagine? Because that's not out of the realm of possibility. They'd kidnap half their squad and throw them to the trash to get to get their hands on somebody like Aaron Rodgers. Chicago right now. Could you imagine with that defense, if they had an Aaron Rodgers? Lord have mercy. No question. Brett knows what it's I like agree. to make moves. He's not afraid of that. All right, Brett, we're moving on here to Philadelphia. This one is puzzling for me. Do the Eagles have a franchise quarterback in Carson Wentz? What is going on with him? Tough one. Uh, I, I certainly agree with you, Molly. Uh, it, it, it is uh, puzzling. I, I would say this. I, I think he is very capable. I think he has to stay healthy. I know he has to stay healthy. And the, the pieces around him, I'm not saying they're, they're good enough or not good enough, but they have to stay healthy and, and have some consistency. Sometimes I don't even know who he's throwing to. So uh, they've just been riddled with injuries, and, and that in itself is, is – uh, Certainly not helped Carson, and he's been injured himself. So um, play a full season with your guys, and let's see uh, what you're capable of. No, he's not a franchise quarterback. He's a starting quarterback in the middle of the pack guy. Guys, when he says something at a postgame presser, um, he's turned the ball over, what now, 13, 14 times in Eagles territory already. He's not durable. He's tough as nails. He's just bought, he's not, he's not been durable. I'm not questioning his toughness or his heart. And, and when this guy gets up there and says, hey, should I give up on a player, try to extend the play? That's a fine line. I'll be walking for the rest of my career. That's just the way we do it around here. No, that's, he's talking like he's Brett Favre and he's an Iron Man and he's won a Super Bowl and he's one of the all time greats. His team won a Super Bowl when Nick Foles was the quarterback, and they were dead in the water the next year until Nick Foles took over when he got hurt and led him on a charge into the playoffs and beat uh, uh, the Bears. Great defense at Soldier Field. That wasn't Carson Wentz. That was Nick Foles. He has not done anything to be talking like that, and I think the problem is he is not being held accountable and I don't think at this moment I would call him a franchise quarterback. Well, you can't call him a franchise quarterback right now because he just he's too he's too sporadic and undependable uh, to call a franchise quarterback. But Brett Brett Favre, I'll defer to you in with this question. What do you think the reason for it is? I mean, I understand the durability questions have always been there, but the precipitous drop off that we've witnessed over the last season and a half to two seasons from this guy. Do you put it on him? Is it on Coach Doug Peterson? 
Uh, what is it? What do you think it is? I, I think uh, I think he's very capable. I think we all are in, in agreement that he has the tools. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna err on the side of lack of consistency. Who are you throwing to? Mm-hmm. Um, more than anything, they've had to mix and mingle players in and out. Now that being said, other quarterbacks have managed to handle that very well. So I, I, I get the, the other side of the argument that you got to make it work. Um, you know, I, I, I actually thought that they should have kept Nick Foles rather than Carson Wentz just based off of production and w- where they got to. That, you know, they won a Super Bowl with Foles. And um, that was a little bit surprising. But I, they're obviously banking on his upside. Um, you know, I, I, how many more years do you – you let it linger before you you stick with him or you cut bait. Uh, that's a question they only can answer. But I know Doug, uh, of course, we were together for a long time. He's, he's a very simple coach. He's going to put you in the best possible opportunity to succeed. He's not going to complicate things. So I know it's not Doug. Um, so I'm going to write it off as too many injuries uh, right now. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Max? All right. I guess it fails uh, you. I, I mean, you I, I wouldn't only because you can, you can, you can go broke as a franchise looking for Super Bowls. Um, you know, with guys like Jay Cutler or Andy Dalton or good quarterbacks or quarterbacks that you think have very high upside by year five when you've given him $100 million and he's making the kinds of mistakes that he's making right now. Yes, he makes one Patrick Mahomes level throw a game because he, he has insane talent. But, and then he makes three or four other good plays and the rest are bad execution, bad, um, bad decision making. I, I think it's year five. It's, a, you know, and, and he stands up there. The reason he's still doing it, he's not being held accountable. You got to sit him down for a game at least. They're refusing to do it. Stephen A., you want to get in here? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. All right. Brett, this was a lot of fun. Chopping it up with you, talking about quarterbacks here around the league. You got to come back and join us again. But n- now you're, uh, I guess, off the hot seat, if we're going to call it that, barely. Um, well, thank you, you. He did good. Yeah, yeah, this was fun. I really enjoyed it. But uh, before we let you go, please tell me about being the ambassador of the company Green go. Eagle. I love Brett's football analysis. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you caught me off guard with that. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry. I, I'm in the CBD world like Gronkowski. Um, okay. I, I would have never thought I, I would have never thought I would have been a part of it because I assumed that it was uh, marijuana. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I, my knowledge uh, as far as CBD was very limited, uh, but it's it's not marijuana. What I am uh, advocating is certainly not a, a drug at all. It's uh, it works. Um,